All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode. So what you're looking at here is Flamingo uh, down in Everglades National Park. It's a very beautiful place and one of the most biodiverse places I've ever seen in the nation and in Florida as well. Uh, today we're going to be targeting snook and redfish. For the snook, we're going to be using cut finger mullet, something I've wanted to try for a long time now. And for the redfish, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to use a spoon. And the reason I want to use a spoon is because I see a lot of guys up in Sebastian Inlet and northern Florida and even down in South Carolina using spoons to attract these fish. It's something I've always wanted to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see if I can get lucky. Once again, guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thank you, and enjoy the video. I would think flat is the best for clearing the head. If you're on the flats, yeah. That's a flat right there. It's just too high right now. Also not a very good one. Oh, let's go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a red. That's a good one too. That's a red. On the spoon. No red way. on the spoon. No way. Help me out here. I'm going reverse. I'm going reverse. No way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the spoon. I'm tagging my spoon. <laughs> I think I have an extra spoon if you want. <laughs> that's a big one. That was a decent one, yeah. No, dude, that's a big red. That's a big red. That's a good one. Oh, look at the spots on him. That's a nice red. Yeah. All right, let's, let's stop messing around. Let's That's get him so in. lucky, dude. You got so lucky. What pound leader is this? 40. Don't lose him. Is this a trouble? Dude, that's a good one. That's a slot. That's a slot. Look at the spots on that, guys. Where's the tape measure? Look at that. This guy's got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 spots. No look at the tail too, man. That thing's beautiful. He looked way bigger in the water. He did, right? He did. he did. He's not He's not too chubby either, man. Guys, sadly, I wanted to do a catch and cook. Um, my grandmother's been dying to try redfish, and um, the half shell recipe is great. I think this guy's slot for sure. He's just a little bit on the thin side, but he'll definitely make do. He's croaking if you hear him. Very slowly. Let's get a measure on. He's definitely slot. All right, guys, just got this redfish using a spoon. Uh, for the first couple hours, I wanted to try out the spoon just because I've been really curious about uh, how it would work in this really filthy water. Um, but check out this beautiful redfish. If you check out this side here, he's got a ton of spots. So absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this guy up. Uh, we're gonna do a half shell recipe, so it should be pretty delicious. Um, and we might be switching over to a cut bait later. Uh, the place that we went to had a finger mullet. Uh, we're gonna try that or maybe even some some uh, dead shrimp um, but this is the first redfish of the day on artificial and believe it or not on the spoon pretty sick we're taking on water and we're probably gonna sink out here and die no we're not gonna sink i'm pretty sure we're not gonna sink watch out with my makeshift uh, um little thing here so apparently we're not too sure what's happening, but we've been out here for like 30 minutes and there's some water <laughs> coming out of here and it's just seeping Nico, through. Nico, where are you, dude? So now he's got a, a bottle here to try to collect it, but I'm trying, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that serious. Um, we could definitely just get a cup and scoop it out. It's not like we're sinking or anything, so. We're drowning. <laughs> but look at this guy, it's beautiful out here. Hold up. You're eight, right? I don't know yet. Please tell me you are. Stop. Tiny drag, tiny drag. What do you have? We're about to find out, buddy. Hiding your 
I am, I am. No he doesn't know he's hooked. I think he fights harder than this. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he's doing yet. Hold on, I'm going to reverse. I'm going to reverse. Dude, it, it better not be a snake. Don't reverse, don't reverse. I'm going to go into the... That's a fish, that's not a snake. No, no way it's a snake. I just want to see what it is, man. Better not be a, ca a, a catfish. It kind of feels like one. Oh. No! I thought that was a baby shark. Could have been a baby shark. Let's see. I was about to see what it was, too, man. Dude, it could have been a red. Those, te those red teeth are pretty sharp. I'm not even going to lie. Frey. So fray, look at this. It was a fish, it was a legitimate fish. It wasn't a shark. All right guys, we just got hit on the, uh, on the cut finger mullet. All right, go, go to the back. Yeah. It's not a red. You want to switch? Oh, oh, oh. It just snuck on the cut mullet. Big snook on the cut mullet. That's what cut me off then earlier. For sure. They're eating the cut mullet, dude. Yeah. Nice, man. Bro, go left so it's not in the back here. Yeah. Beautiful, bro. On the cut mullet. That's definitely what cut me off earlier, man. 100%. Not even a question. They're stacked up eating the cut mullet. Yeah. It's a nice one too, man. Very nice. Picked it up right off the bottom. Not even too sandy. They're usually really sandy out here. On the cut mullet. I thought I had a red. That's what it looked like. I'll tell you that. That's like what? Nice, nice snook right there. You want to measure them real quick? Yeah, get my camera actually. Yeah. Ooh. To red? That's a bigger one. I see. Popped it off the bottom. That one's probably like 20, 22. Let's use our rusty old, rusty old scale. Jesus, Skippy's uh, still hyped up. Oh my god. Wow, I thought he was bigger. He looked longer. He's, he's, like, a, tad, he's a tad bit chunkier, but. Nah, he's. He's 19 and a half. Is that a slot? 18 is the slot, so. Bet. Off, I think that's you. good. You want to throw that one back and wait for a bigger one, or? Ow, he bit me. No, now I don't want to throw him back. He bit me. Should Keep we? Keep him. I mean, dude, I really want you to try that half shell recipe, so in case yeah. we don't catch another one, just put this one in the cooler. Right. Oh, slow down, slow down. On. A little snug, I think. See ya, buddy. I think it's good. That's two. Try one. We'll also save batteries. So. Let's go. Snook. I saw a red tail, dude. He hit that hard. Second snook of the day, guys. Little micro. On the spoon. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was definitely a really cool video to film. Uh, lots of new things today. We saw tons of triple tail. I've never seen any triple tail out here. Um, we went on a wild goose chase with those guys. They just weren't biting. Also, really cool that we were using cut bait. 
uh, finger mullet to be more specific to get snook today. I know a lot of you guys have probably been doing that. I've just never even heard of that. And we tried it today for the first time and it worked out great. Also, it was really cool getting on that redfish with tons of spots. I think it had like 16 spots or some crazy thing like that. Um, and first time I ever catch a red on a spoon. So that was really cool. I know guys up in Sebastian Inlet um, and Jupiter, uh, all these places up north like Tampa, they use spoons all the time to get uh, redfish to bite, but this is the first time I do it and it was in a mangrove, so I thought that was really cool. Um, once again, guys, I'm giving away two bait casting reels. Subscribe, turn your post notifications on, um, and you guys will get a chance to win that in a giveaway uh, as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers. Once again, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in that next episode.